As this list goes to show, sometimes you report the news and sometimes when things go wrong enough, you become the news. Number 15. It's okay. Come a little closer. Do I'm going to stay over here by Joni. Do they know each Do they no, Hold him tight. Hold him tight. Hold him tight. A live TV news reporter accidentally moves two alligators too close to each other and sets them off. One doesn't much care, but the larger of the two looks over and promptly freaks out. The alligator is almost dropped and barely caught, and by the time 29 seconds has passed, the tape on its mouth has been broken, meaning somebody could have in fact got seriously messed up. Number 14. A CNN reporter in Brazil is in the middle of a story, completely unaware of a man watching her on a bridge. He is holding an extra large canvas bag and definitely sending a hard stare before heading her way. Within seconds, he is pointing the large bag at her, clearly concealing something underneath, and he makes demands, not caring that the whole world is witness to what he is doing. She seems to hastily nod her head and take out her cell phone to give to him while he presses the bag towards her. I really hope this person was caught, because if they were desperate enough to do something this scary on live TV, then there's really no telling what they're capable of doing next. Number 13. I would really like it if someone who speaks Spanish could tell me what this reporter is saying. He seems to be pointing at something moments before he has a scary encounter caught on live TV news. At 28 seconds, it looks like he thinks he's stepping into a shallow end, but apparently there isn't one to be found. Now he has dirty water in his eyes and needs help to get out, but to his credit, he holds onto the microphone the entire time. Talk about true job dedication. I'm glad they were able to pull him out because he might have had a hard time climbing up the muddy slope himself. I really hope he didn't swallow any of that water, because who knows what kind of bacteria is in it. Number 12. A reporter in Pakistan goes from normal to in serious need of help in seconds flat. All of her facial features droop, and I think she looks like she is having a medical problem, but the faraway look in her eyes kind of looks like this could be a paranormal moment caught on live TV, like she saw something off camera so scary that she passed out. Somebody please tell me what she was reporting on, especially if it was about something paranormal. <laughs> Number 11. Yeah. A sports reporter is reporting about a match about to start when a ball comes flying her way. Watch again and you'll see the ball narrowly misses her face, harmlessly bouncing off of her microphone instead. It's a live TV broadcast, so there's no relocating to a safer place. The brave woman straightens up and finishes the story quickly before any other stray shots can come near. Number 10. A reporter is talking about a major hurricane that is expected to hit any minute. Behind him, the entire beach is gone and he stands on half-submerged stairs to show just how high the waves have gotten. Being stronger and stronger with each passing hour. We've seen a lot of parts of the road start to swap and probably... By 12 minutes, the stairs have become detached and bob in the water. He steps forward only to find it may be too late. Uh, we started to see a lot of the road swamp and there goes the one step. All right. That's the end of it. I got it. Thank the stairs are little more than large planks of driftwood at this point and crumble underfoot. He succeeds in sounding professional as he climbs out, but the reality is he almost got swept into the ocean. This dramatic camera angle, while interesting to look at, almost seriously cost him. Number 9. A reporter for KTVU is in the middle of a story when he has only seconds to react to a terrifying situation. An out of control car almost barrels into him. This still frame taken at 7 seconds shows he definitely would have gotten nailed. The car occupies the same place he was standing moments ago, and it's by sheer luck that the vehicle avoids the camera person for that matter too. There was very little time for any of them to react and I'm glad everyone is alright, driver included. Number 8. 
A scary moment is caught on live TV for this Polish reporter who steps away from some screens and almost takes himself out. <laughs> He's probably a few feet off the ground, which is a lot higher up than it sounds when you're free falling backwards. Fortunately, he recovers and keeps going with the story like a pro. Number 7 a reporter is breaking a scary story about the discovery of three bodies when this creepy moment behind him is caught on live TV. I have not identified that suspect yet either. Yeah, still a lot of questions to be answered here, Jake, but uh... Huh? Jake, are you okay? A car revs the engine from behind and comes screaming their way. The reporter runs off scared, no doubt certain that this is a car full of suspects who are now after him. It turns out to be an irresponsible driver who wanted to do a burnout on live TV for attention. But if you think the reporter was overreacting, take a look at the concerned face of his associates when it happens. No doubt they were thinking the same thing. Number 6 a CBS2 news reporter is talking about the Grammys when she starts to make no sense and says some really bizarre and strange things. Backstage coverage we're seeing for the very first time, Sari. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darrison bite. Let's go to Terrace Tazen for the bit. She speaks professionally for a living and has never sounded this way before. Some people think it's a medical situation, which I agree with because if you look really closely, it kind of looks like one side of her face is drooping a bit, which can be a sign of a stroke. And if that's the case, I hope she got the medical help she needed. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. Number five. This, uh, oh, 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 what is that? That's because it's hot outside. Stuff like that happens. Did, was that live? Are we live? If something scary is ever caught on live TV flying around your face, here's a tip. Don't open your mouth wide enough to invite it inside. I don't know exactly what this creepy beach bug is, but I do know two seconds into the video is when he almost swallows it whole. The crazy bug turns around and takes a second go at him until he chases it off with his notes. Someone tell me what kind of insect this is and also why it seems so obsessed with diving into his mouth. Number 4 A TV news reporter is in the middle of a story when a man creeps up behind and it's all caught on tape. And it's likely one of those international cities might- <laughs> scared the We're working here, man. How you doing? Oh my God. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 I think it's pretty obvious that the man was joking around and trying to have a friendly laugh. He comes in with his hand on his hip, like her, but from her perspective, she probably just sees a stranger standing way too close and freaks out. All in all, he seems like a regular guy who just wanted to make a cameo on live TV and didn't mean to scare anybody. Number 3 Matt Rodewald is reporting on some crazy weather when he sees a person's car get stuck in a flash flood. They have to get away fast because lightning is striking all around. And just to further illustrate my point, this happens as they are swimming to safety. Think about how easily that bolt of lightning could have hit the water instead of across the street. Everyone who is getting away should consider themselves extra lucky they didn't get zapped. This could have been almost one of the most frightening moments ever caught on live TV. Number 2 A news reporter is assigned a story she really doesn't want to cover. Soon she finds she's covering herself with her hands out of fear. Oh my gosh! No! We're good, we're all good. We're it's a haunted house, and even though it's a setup, I think this is the most scared I've seen someone on live TV, and I'm sure this freaky twirling move he does with the prop is going to fuel her nightmares for some time to come. <laughs> the only other moment I've seen a reporter anywhere close to being this scared would probably be this similar creepy moment caught on live TV. Watch this part and tell me who you think is the most scared. The first reporter or this one. The rest is history. The rest is history, that's right. Um, and can we take a look at the other room and take a little sure, look yeah. down mm -hmm. there? Cool. <laughs>
Actually, I think this reporter might have been more scared than the other one because she actually falls over. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next 5 seconds because I upload 4 new scary videos every week. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then go to my Instagram at DylanIsChillinYT and tap that follow button to find out. Number 1. A news reporter named Jeremy Ford is heading to work when he stops to live stream something bizarre he's found along the way. I don't know what it is. Should I catch it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back to my child days. Watch this. I'm gonna see if I can catch it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it's a rattlesnake! Holy... It's a rattlesnake. Listen to it. Oh my gosh. Much to his honor, Jeremy Ford realizes he's grabbing a venomous snake that he doesn't know how to properly handle. Fortunately, he seems to have a good grip on the snake, at least for now, between his thumb and index finger. He doesn't give it much room to strike him, if any. It's not over yet, though. He still needs to put it down and hope it doesn't seek revenge. I'm gonna let him enjoy his life. All right, guys, I'm gonna let him go. There we go. Can you guys see it? That's crazy. I've never seen one in real life. He just kind of drops it on the ground and doesn't back away or anything. I don't know what the right snake handling technique is, but I'm pretty sure this is not it. He's really lucky that the snake is more concerned with a fast escape than putting him in the hospital. 